This is video number 586, How to Pray for a Broken Heart, Part 7. This is the second video that I'm making on my, on my very generous blessing uh, laptop from a dear friend of mine. So this is a shout out to her and her husband for helping me when my previous laptop decided to go on a sabbatical leave. The reason why this specific prayer request is listed under J is because my friend shared an intimate photograph of her and her husband hugging on his birthday with me recently. I looked at this photograph and thought and prayed, I want something just like this, just like the song. May God daily show us other couples that inspire us to grow like them. May He show us examples that we can transform to. Just like Jacob held the poles with the dots in front of the sheep and the goats, and then they were transformed. May God also show us a plethora of examples of kabot, of elation couples, love. Like the story of Jacob in Genesis 30 verse 40 to 43. Furthermore, I know that God enjoys cheekiness. In the Hebrew, the word is chutzpah. I want the double anointing of blessedness on my relationship, like the Elijah and Elijah blessing. I think this is the reason why God said we should not covet, as each thing or blessing that we possibly want to covet was actually an inspiration to pray even harder. I have another story I want to share, and this is what I declare or prophesy over this broken heart. Somebody asked me out on a date. On the Friday evening before our date, he sent me a photograph wearing this specific jacket with friends. We went out on a date on Saturday. On Sunday evening, he came over for a quick visit, but forgot his jacket in my house on Sunday evening. The Monday morning, I had to, the photograph jacket in my apartment. There was a sudden but a beautiful change, one that stirred me so deeply that I had to take a photo of it. Of it. This is the kind of sudden intervention I want God to use in my life for better. A call or feminine Kehila is an eternal communal entity which enables and empowers the individual members who make it up to go far beyond the limits of their personal identities by uniting them in a new framework identifying, focusing upon and elevating the fundamental bond that joins them together to a point that they become a cognizant of and f begin to flow in a shared purpose, collective destiny and a common mission. This is a short little snippet from the, one of the Rabbi Sun's teachings that really touched me deeply. I believe that the power and healing comes in when a, someone is part of a community when they feel they belong somewhere. May God please come and let us feel like we are belonging somewhere. May we make our relationship a cold, a safe and a happy place where we can grow into the best versions of ourselves. Keys. I truly believe that God holds the keys to everyone's heart. May God, God made the forest heart harden towards the pleas of Moses. Please God, use your master runner key. Lock up all the desires towards the bad love choices and open the right doors of love and openness in all our hearts. Do you know what ends a period of dormancy in the horticultural world? Most people think that it is the warmer temperatures of spring, but that it's not. What brings a seed out of dormancy in the season we know as spring is not the warmer temperatures, it is instead the increase in sunlight. Please give us the increase in sunlight that the dormant seeds can start growing, the seeds of heavenly love you have planted in our hearts. I truly believe that we were made by love, we were made for love and we were made with love. So please let these heavenly, these godly sparks you have planted and woven it into us, let it start growing again. You will always be my destination, my home, my whole heart. I love to love you. I love to love you. Oh, how magical and beautiful is this. Please God, let this be our motto. Let this be the way we look at each other daily. Let us love to love you, the person. Letting go does not mean let, love, loving less. We are letting go now. 
we are surrendering it all into God's hands so that He can work the wonders He has in store for us. Love wins. This is my quote and my inspiration for writing all of these videos. Please God, remind me and show me numerous ad nauseum times that love wins. Editor's note, on the first day of realizing that we had a little bit of trouble in paradise, I attended a festival with one of my friends. I saw this gentleman walking around in the t-shirts with the word ri words written on them, love wins. My heart was still a little bit shaky at this time, but every time I began to doubt, I just saw the gentleman. There was a confirmation for, for me just to continue to pray because love wins. Lone wolf mentality. Please, Lord, eliminate all the lone wolf mentalities out there. Place your heavenly domestos on this mentality and also remind them all that two is better than one. The next video will follow shortly.